right, so welcome all. Uh, my name is Brent Hoskins. I serve as Executive Director of the Business Technology Association. And as, as I was mentioning a moment ago, we we do these every month. We've been doing them several years now. And what we found was that a fair number of our members um, uh, don't always know what we offer. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of benefits on the BTA website. And, and I, I have found, or my observation is people kind of zero in on two or three different uh, benefits that work particularly well for them whether it's webinars or events or education or or some of our peer groups that we'll be talking about, et cetera. But uh, we found it be a good opportunity to kind of share with our members a better look at the benefits of the association. Uh, one thing I want, wanted to mention is there's uh, our staff is pretty small. Uh, there are five of us, but uh, collectively, I added it up recently, collectively, we've worked at the association just a little over 90 years, if you can believe it, 90 years. So I say that to say that, uh, you know, many of us, most of us have been in the industry for a long time uh, with the association, know a lot of people in the industry, uh, and we are always looking for opportunities to help dealers connect with other dealers, with vendors, consultants, whatever. So if there's ever a time that you think uh, BTA could maybe help you out, or if you've got a question about the industry or looking for an introduction to someone, please reach out to us because just for by the nature of the fact that we've been here so many years, uh, we do know a lot of people. We'll be glad to kind of connect you if that makes sense. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, turn it over to Brian Smith. He's probably the person that you know the best with the association because he spends every day, all day talking to dealers, uh, current members, prospective members. And you, if you've seen him, at, you maybe have seen him at different industry events, certainly all the BTA events that we've had um, in many, many years. Brian's been with us, what, Seven. Okay. Couldn't yeah. quite remember. Since 08, no, whatever that adds up to. Okay. 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 So, uh, Brian, I'll turn it over to you if you're able to share your screen. Yes. Homepage. It's all yours. Awesome. awesome. Well, welcome, everybody. Appreciate you taking some time out to uh, to attend our little um, educational class here. Um, I'll try to keep it as quick and as short as I can. Um, the one important thing that when you get to the BTA homepage, so you just scroll and you can get to some of the information here. But uh, when you come up here to log in, this is kind of the one important thing. Everybody needs to create a login. So you come up here and, and click on login, and that'll take you to this page. And you just click, if you don't have one, you just click on create one right down there and go through all that and then you can sign in underneath um your your name that way and then once you're signed in if you need to get back to the bta homepage, you just come back down here to the bta homepage, and it takes you back to the home page now i've already signed in as adam gregory he's the bta president so this is kind of the back end the admin side of the website and the, really the important things here is just to make sure that when you log in, your name's up here in the corner, so you know that you're logged in. And then you come over here on the, the gear over here and change passwords and usernames and log out once you've logged in. The important uh, part of this is really two of them. The My Info section, this is where you can come in here and change all of your phone numbers, addresses, uh, that type of thing. Uh, where you can find information about your billing and, and your membership. Uh, we've also got uh, information here for related contacts. So only the primary that's set up in, in our database, the primary will have these um, editing arrows or pencils over here, but you can add your name in here. And so this just shows you all the people that are in, underneath um, um, Adam's company. The second, uh, really the most important thing is the member directory. Once you're logged in, this member directory will show up. And if you're searching for somebody in the directory, uh, let's say that uh, right now I've got a brother. So you would just come up here and, and hit customize, go to brands carried, and let's just say brother, how many people in the uh, BTA database carry brother. And once my hamsters wake up, you click done and this pops up and then you can click on any one of these and you get the information about that company. Um, so 
the the caveat here would be is if somebody has just recently acquired brother and they haven't updated their database or somebody that dropped brother they used to sell brother but they no longer do so that would be the only caveat about trying to find somebody but you can if you're looking for somebody in a city or a state or you even know the the company name you can search this way so that's uh, one of the good functions there and then if you uh when, like i said if you need to get back to the bta homepage, you just click on home page and it opens up uh, the bta homepage for you um and if anybody has any questions just uh, shout them out and we'll uh, stop and, and address them um, so this is the BTA homepage, and I might as well just uh, the kind of the gorilla in the room is uh, the BTA Disaster Grant Program. Um, likely none of the people from North Carolina or Florida are on this uh, this call. They've got their hands full. But uh, this is uh, uh, with all the damage that is around there. We've um, the the disaster program has been around for a while, but now it's just front page. So if you'd like to either donate to the grant or donate to the uh, to the program or if you'd like to apply for a grant and you don't have to repay it funds are limited but uh, you can apply for a grant and try and that gets sent to the bta board of directors and it's evaluated from there and then they'll let you know or ask questions about what do we have you know what do you need what are you trying to repair that type of thing so um, if, if anybody, you know, as little as a $25 donation to the grant uh, disaster grant program is, is very much appreciated. So keep that in mind. Um, we've got the, the, uh, the scrolling banner here. This is some of the events that are coming up on BTA. So you can hit the arrow and, and bypass that. Um, then you've got some other things that are uh, other uh, features and benefits of BTA by scrolling down. I'll start up here with the About Us tab. Uh, kind of give you an idea of uh, what uh, BTA is about as soon as uh, my, okay, you're going to do it that way. So you can, the bylaws of BTA, that type of thing, there's member testimonials, there's photo archives as well. BTA has been around since 1926, so we used to have national conferences, so these are some of the uh, the photos that we've got in our archive, so those are uh, pretty good to look at. There's video archives. So there's some good information here under about us. And you've got the headquarters staff that Brent was speaking of uh, recent or just earlier on. So there's Brent, Valerie's the marketing director, Elizabeth is the uh, associate editor, there's yours truly, and uh, Brooke is, uh, is our new admin person for about a month or so, and she's uh, based out of Hawaii that we talked about, Jim. So that's uh, good there. And then we've got a national board of directors as well. So BTA is set up, we've got a national um, uh, board, and then we've got four district boards. There's a West, let me show you. There's a West district, a Mid-America district, a Southeast district, and an East district. And you can click on one of these, mag or one of those um, icons there, and the officers will pop up. And there's their contact information. I bring this up is because this is a great place to uh, to network with fellow dealers. And so if you're, you know, got some answers or questions about BTA, what can we do? And you might reach out to me or Brent or one of us here at BTA, and we may or may not have the answer. Uh, these are some of the people that we would contact to uh, get an answer for you. So they are all uh, business owners and work in the industry just like you and their BTA volunteers. There's the legal counsel as well. So this is a great source. Just come up to about us. You got the district officers page, and then you've got the national board of directors page. So check those out as well. Um, then if you scroll or move over, there's the, uh, the benefits page right here. If you click on the word benefits, that'll open up a page that has all the BTA benefits listed here. And you can look at it, and we spoke of the disaster grant program. If you click on that link, it'll take you to where you're going to. So I would recommend that if you're just looking for something, you start there, and you kind of scroll down. All these headings here are listed underneath here. So the drop-down menu has these, these headlines there. So if you know where you're going to, 
you can just come down here and click on uh, legal services and it'll take you to the BTA legal page. And that'll be a good place to start. This is Greg Goldberg. He's the BTA legal counsel. So if you've got a question about uh, anything in, in your business associated with your business, uh, you can contact Greg right here and ask him a question or give him a call. And the legal department also has a host of uh, legal documents that are there. Now you must uh, be logged in to access this, but you just go under legal, legal documents, click on this, and it'll show up and all of these uh, legal documents are listed underneath here. So we've got uh, information about artificial <laughs> intelligence, uh, computer leasing, confidential agreements. And all you really need to do is just click on one of those. It opens up in a Word document so that you can cut and paste and, and customize it to your dealership. If you've got any questions about any of these uh, articles or um, forms, transactional documents, then you can contact Greg Goldberg free of charge and ask him, uh, you know, information about that. So the uh, the legal documents is a, a great benefit for you to to do, and and they they range all the way from employee dress code up to partnership agreements. So it it, it uh, and if there's something here that you don't see that you think we should have, you can either contact me or you can contact uh, Greg Goldberg directly, and he can help you out with that. Uh, on the legal services. Now, the, the dividing line on legal services is that if it affects the industry as a whole, uh, you'll get more service out of the legal department versus if it had just affected you. So the big difference, if you had a manufacturer agreement, uh, if you're a brother dealer and you have a manufacturer agreement, you can contact Greg Goldberg and says, does BTA have a, a pre-negotiated dealer agreement between um, um, brother and the dealer. So he'll use the legal department or legal services goes further if it affects the industry as a whole. If you had a landlord agreement for your dealership, that's pretty much your local attorney. Um, if you want any additional, you know, um, edit or conversation about it, you can try to contact Greg and say, hey, I got this contract. Would you take a look at it? And most of the time, he'll probably tell you, uh, no, not really, because if he, you know, looked at 100 or 600 um, landlord agreements, he wouldn't have time to do anything else. So that's kind of the, the dividing line. If it affects the industry as a whole versus you personally on the legal side of it. Um, and going back to the benefits, you can, we've got business support services and you can just kind of go down here, the grant program. We've got valuation, business valuations car rentals, you can just touch on any of those. Uh, we've got channel uh, trends and researches here. Um, one of the, the, the Becky, the Business Equipment Quota Index is a great resource for you. Manufacturers use this information to set your quotas. So you can come in here and get uh, information all the way down to the zip code on the potential of any given territory. So you come in here and, and you can order it by the state or by the MSA, which is the Metropolitan Statistical Area. And with your membership, you get discounted codes. You can get 150 and a $200 discount. So you could get a state virtually for free. So you just come down here. There's a user's guide that you can figure that out. But if you wanted to order, you just come down here and, and order it by the state. So the Becky's a, a great product for you to, to use. Um, let's see here under membership uh, area, I'll kind of jump back. This is where the 101 call will be parked. This call today, it'll be parked here after the call is done. So you can just come back in here and revisit it and, and watch the call again, or, you know, we'll have another one posted there sooner. Then the vendors, you can access the vendors either through the membership page or up here in the corner. And this just shows you all the vendors that are associated with the BTA channel, got consultants, trainers, and publishing people. And really all you need to do is just click on one of those logos. It'll open up a separate page and tell you about that company. And then if you need to visit them directly, some of them come to the BTA page, others go to 
uh, their own page, like I think Agent Dealer does, maybe. No, but they'll go to uh, their own page, so you'll have access to uh, to that information as well, uh, all the vendors. Um, then getting to uh, the, we talked briefly about the select dealer group and the pro dealer group. BTA has two peer groups that are uh, available to you. Now, these groups are protected territory, and you can kind of, uh, um, it, it's a great peer group, separate and beyond your BTA membership, but you have to be a BTA member to be a uh, part of it. And this kind of shows you if you're in any of these areas out here, you might want to contact uh, the pro dealer, which is Brent. He's the liaison for the pro dealer group and join that. Or we've got a select dealer group and there's a map there as well. Uh, for you to uh, to see if there's a open open territory for you on this one as well. So it's it's limited um, to uh, to the territory. So if any one of these individuals here are in your neck of the woods and you want to join, well, they would have first right of refusal. So you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to uh, to join them. Hey Brian, could I interrupt you just for a moment? As sure. I look at that map, something's coming to mind. Um, the, both of these peer groups, pro dealer groups, select dealer group, are really all about sharing best practices. They sh they meet in person three times a year. They're in contact throughout the year. But what I what's coming to mind is there's a dealer in the select dealer group that's in Asheville, North Carolina, and obviously he was very well much impacted by the recent Hurricane Helena. And what I've been watching the last five or six days, and it has been amazing, is to watch his fellow select dealer groups uh, rally behind him to help him financially with supplies, different things that they're helping him and his dealership. And it's all because they met each other through BTA and the select dealer group. Now I realize that's kind of an anomaly, kind of out of the ordinary, but it just shows you the bonds that and, and relationships that grow um, uh, from this, from the, within these groups. I mean, I'm, I'm talking tens of thousands of dollars that they've contributed as members to help their fellow member in Asheville, North Carolina. That's not what it's all about, but that's a side benefit of them knowing each other. Really, it's all about sharing best practices, et cetera. But, uh, anyway, it's been on my mind. I've been seeing it on the emails all day long, uh, information going back and forth. It's just really cool to see, um, that coming out of BTA right now. So, yeah, Thanks, there's Brian. some reports that they won't have running water for still a, at least right. another month, maybe, maybe longer. So it's pretty nasty over in that area, and, and they're getting ready to face another one coming. So that's uh that's pretty bad. Um then uh you can also access uh this. You got our dealer help and dealer discussion groups. So I would call this the the poor man's peer group, if we can go there. How's that? That uh <laughs> this is still has some uh um, priorities to it, but the dealer help and dealer, we've got five groups. There's two there's two owners groups, a sales group, uh, two sales groups, two owners groups, and a service group. Is that right, actually, Brent? That's really close. There's actually three owners groups, okay. uh, and cleverly, I call them dealers to helping dealers groups one, two, and three, for lack of any other better name, but that's what they're called. And so, what Brian's showing you on the screen is I've run into some of these folks at some of the BTA events. I've pulled them aside and asked if they do a little quick video testimonial about the value of being in one of the dealers helping dealers groups. Those groups came out of the pandemic uh, back in uh, May of 2020 uh, when everybody was scrambling, uh, kind of turning to one another, asking, you know, what do we do now? With all the challenges everyone faced, uh, we brought a lot of dealers together under uh, the umbrella of these dealers helping dealers. They still meeting. We've got two of the three owners groups that have been meeting since May of 2020. They've meet every twice a month. They literally have had like 105, 10 calls, something like that so far. And not unlike the pro dealer group and select dealer group that we mentioned earlier, uh, there's been some great relationships that have grown out of those. They're not only just attending the calls, but they're helping each other each uh, call uh, or between calls, you know, they're they're connecting and, and of course they help each other in the calls. It's really a simple format. All I do is I send out a, a an invite to, via Zoom and I ask them a question, uh, what topics or uh, um, uh, topics or questions would you like the group to address in today's call or next week's call or whatever? And uh, then we spend an hour going through those. And so 
fresh on my mind today. I had about, uh, I think there were 16 service managers on a call with me earlier today while I was going through the questions they had submitted. There always turns out there's other topics that come up as the conversation gets underway. And then yesterday I had two owners groups. So similar numbers there, uh, you know, talking through things. And it's just been really cool to see. If that's of interest to you, it's not just owners. There's a lot of senior management. There's even some sales reps, et cetera, on there, depending even on the owner's calls. Uh, we do have two calls that are just for sales management, and we have one for service management, two groups. Uh, but if that's of interest to you, just email me at brent at bta.org, and, and I'll find you a group where you don't have a competitor. You know, we have multiple groups so that if there's a competitor in the group, then we'll have an opportunity to, um, uh, you know, put you in, in another group where there's a good fit and you're not you're not on a, on a call talking about your business with your competitors, but um, something to think about. It's been well, well received. It's free. It's part of membership. It's easy. Uh, it's a little bit come and go as you like, meaning that uh, some people, uh, uh, you know, will attend two or three calls and miss a couple and then come back. Uh, and I understand that they've got jobs, they've got busy schedules. And sometimes the best customer walks into the office, you know, five minutes before the call and customers always first. I understand that, but something to be thinking about. So dealers helping dealers, Brian. Um, that's one leg of the dealer helping dealer stool, so to speak. The, the, uh, the, We've got a question and answer as well. So prior to the, or, you know, it opened up during the pandemic as well. Uh, we originally started for the COVID questions is what we had. And the BTA legal was helping out on a lot of questions on the COVID. And then we've just got uh, dealer help and dealer questions where somebody will uh, um, send in a question. Uh, one of the questions will be put each month into the magazine. And when the, when Brent receives the question, he'll send it out to the membership as a whole and get answers. And this is where the questions are, are posted and the answers that were received. So there's a wealth of uh, resource here and information that, uh, you know, just kind of scroll through it and find a question that uh, looks of interest to you. And there's uh, a lot of the answers to those questions. Um, so you, we've got that stool. And then the third stool is the repair network. And we like this is because what it can do, if you have an install outside your territory and you're looking for somebody to help you out, well, here's all the BTA dealers that uh, you know you could contact. Just click on one of those and it'll tell you who it is, what brands they carry, where they're located and who's the contact. So you could uh, um, use this um, and it's very simple to, uh, to sign up for it. All you need to do is just uh, sign in and you can just get a couple, two or three questions, brands carried, contact information, that type of stuff, and you get set up. And if somebody uh, is trying to install, you know, something into your area, then you're on this map, they can contact you and you can help them. So it's just, uh, you know, the brands carried, uh, you know, so it's it's a simple, simple form to, uh, to fill out. And uh, the more we can get on there, the, the better that uh, repair network will work for everybody. So that's a, that's a pretty good one there. Um, moving uh, over to our BTA events, most of uh, we had one that was supposed to happen last week, but it was canceled because of uh, it was gonna be held in Asheville, but it was canceled due to the weather, but we've had uh, four this, this year. And our next one will be uh, November or March of next year, 7th and 8th down in uh, Orlando, Florida. So we'll be back down here in uh, March 7th and 8th, and then we'll be in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico in June. So that's one to, and that'll be our national conference. So that's one to keep an eye out. But if you want information on any of the BTA events, uh, that's where you go right there. Uh, education is another one here we've got. So just click on that. We've got classroom uh, uh, education, and then we've got E and webinar education. So there's all of our education classes. The pro finance is uh, well attended. And that's set up for business owners and, and C-level, CFOs, accounting, that type of uh, that type of individual. Uh, we've got sales management. We've got service in here. We've got sales, free sales by Der uh, Derek Chevy. So and you get uh, CompTIA vouchers down there as well um, on the education side of it. And then uh, before we jump very far, I'd like to get into the BTA scholarship program. Um, this is uh, one of the um, 
I like the program uh, myself because it gives uh, the the young kids a, a shot at uh, you know a few bucks to go to college. But the BTA scholarship program is is um, available to any member and their employees, um, high school age or college age students. So you would come in here. All applications are due by May first of twenty twenty five or May first of every year. Um, you can come in here and download the flyer. Uh, for your uh, 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 your dealership and hang this up in your break room and everybody would be aware of it so that uh, they gives you all the, the information that you need on that. So that's a great uh, poster just to put up into your break room. And then if you've got uh, some, you know, um, immediate questions and you need a contact, that's right there with Elizabeth Marvel, got her email or her phone number. Now, I know Brent would like to say a few words because what we do is we give away a lot of these, uh, you know, we'll get two, two $3,000 checks, one $2,000, a number of $1,500 and $1,000. And since $84,85, we've given away $1.8 million, and Brent loves to, sell, uh, to sign those checks. So take it away, well, Brent. Well, you, you pretty much said it all, and it is a great member benefit. It's one that sometimes I don't think people realize that we offer. And... Um, uh, just maybe a couple of points. One of them is we often have uh, students repeat. Let's say they're in four years of college. They're become uh, they're eligible each year to uh, apply. And we've had students that have won all four years. Uh, we do have an independent evaluator who's impartial, uh, independent of BTA. He's a dean at a local four year university where we are here in Kansas City. And he reviews the applications. There's an essay question. There's some questions about their, obviously, their job or their, uh, you know, success in school in terms of their grades, et cetera. We have the, we have the um, transcripts come to us and community involvement. There are different aspects of it. And he's got a formula that he puts together to decide who the winners are. So we just say, here's how much money we've got to to work with this year. Uh, and we hand him all the applications and he decides who the winners are. So we really have nothing to do with it, understandably. Uh, this year I wrote or I signed checks to uh, 26 different students, uh, totaling $33,000. So these are the sons and daughters of full-time employees of BTA member dealerships. And as Brian's scrolling through them there, you can see uh, we've been doing this for many years on this website. Uh, usually what these are, you often see three people. It's usually the parent the student and the owner of the dealership uh, often in these photos. So it's really a nice member benefit and it allows your BTA member benefit or membership to be for more than just you as a senior management or owner of the company. It's for any of your employees. And as Brian mentioned a moment ago, where you can post that uh, poster, you could download it now. It's available and post it in your break room and they'll see the May 1st deadline. And as they're approaching the next school year, thinking about their students and, you know, uh, different means of gathering the finances to help pay for that tuition, they'll remember that BTA scholarship program, you know, poster in the break room. And uh, if you think about it, uh, the odds are pretty good. We get a number of applicants. Unfortunately, I have to sign letters every year to students that didn't, didn't win scholarships. And, you know, we encourage them to apply the next time. But um, but, uh, you know, compared to probably some other scholarship programs, the percentage of applicants who win is is probably quite high uh, compared to others. So anyway, just wanted to mention that. Thank yeah. you, Brian. You're welcome. And if you're looking for some BTA swag, come to the BTA merchandise uh, corner there and you can go shopping and get some BTA swag. How's that? Um, that's pretty much, uh, I don't know, I probably missed a few things, but that's pretty much uh, the, the extent of it. I want to be uh, mindful of your time and respectful of it. So the, the one, you click on the benefits button there, everything pops up in front of you. So that should be it. And if anybody's got any questions, uh, feel free to shout them out. All right. Thank you, Brian. Any questions from anyone? Just You can just verbally ask. If, if not, let me mention this. Uh, Brian, if you go back to the home page, I saw something scrolling on there earlier that uh, uh, is worth maybe worth mentioning. You can see it right there. There's Jim Cars has got a webinar tomorrow, growing your dealership through acquisition. So uh, that's coming up tomorrow. They call the Building My Business webinar series. Uh, we also just posted today a webinar for uh, um, I think it's uh, November 19th uh, coming up uh, next month. And uh, one of the things that's particularly cool about the webinar series, we started these in January of 2008, 
long about the 10th or 20th webinar or something like that. Uh, you know, Zoom was all new to all of us at that point. And uh, the thought was, oh, maybe I could uh, record these. And so we started recording them and they're an archive on the website. We have, we've had 210 or something like that webinars to date. And uh, we've got recordings of many of those. And so as Brian's kind of demonstrating there, you can you can see the webinars, the PowerPoint, and if there's a video link in most of them in all these recent years, there's a video link there. When, what we've noticed is they're kind of timeless in nature, not all of them, but many of them are on sales or uh, you know leadership, et cetera, that uh, you might take a look and find that as a resource to share with your team, uh, you know, management or sales team or whatever. Um, but uh, again, that's one of those things that unless you kind of dive a little bit deeper in the website, you may not be know that that's available to you. It's on the uh, members only section of the website. You'd have to log in with your username and password to access those recordings. So we thank everybody for their time. Uh, uh, reach out to us anytime if you think that we can be of help. I mentioned my email earlier is simple, and I'm making the point that everybody's here is simple, but brent at bta.org brian at bk.org, et cetera. Um, and so uh, I think we've got the easiest emails and the in, uh, addresses in the industry. And hey, uh, Brent? Like, yeah, please. Hey, this is Jim. Just a quick question. Do you have any industry-wide information? Like how big is our industry? How many, you know, millions, billions of dollars is the industry? You know, those kind of things. Yep. Uh, I'll tell you what, we have a resource that I think Brian's probably maneuvering to with... Uh, there you go. Ask the analyst. Uh, a key point intelligence. It's a vin it's a research firm partner of ours, and we encourage dealers uh, because we don't really have the resources. We're not a a research company, but we turn to them a lot. And uh, and you can ask the analyst, and so you can submit a question about things like you just mentioned, Jim, in terms of the size of the industry, because sometimes you you like to have those data points in your selling process to be able to talk about the size of the industry, et cetera. Um, and then they can also share some information on on forecast of unit placements, et cetera, like that. So um, so that would be Great. my answer, Jim. And I think you'll find them, uh, you know, we've been working with them for many, many years, and they certainly would be glad to help and provide you the kind of data that you're looking for. Great. Thanks very much. List of yeah. Some of the questions that have been asked. And once again, then you've got the answers to those questions. So that's kind of a, uh, I don't think that's all of the questions that have been asked over time, but uh, uh, that's where they're, they're posted. So feel free to just contact them and uh, they can they can help you out uh, right down here. All right. Thank you all for the question. We're going to let you, or thank you, Jim, for the question. We're going to let you all get, get on with your day. We thank you for uh, your participation, your, your attentiveness as we kind of walk through the website today. Uh, we greatly appreciate your membership in the association, and we look forward to hearing from you, from you sometime down the road or seeing you at one of the BTA events that Brian mentioned earlier uh, in next year. We've got the one in March, Orlando, June, Albuquerque. Not been to Albuquerque before as BTA, so we're looking for that in particular. If you're an IBPI member, IBPI and BTA kind of co-locate once each year, and that's going to be it next year in Albuquerque uh, where there's two meetings together. Um, all right. So thank you all for your time. Uh, we'll look forward to seeing you down the road. Bye, all. Thank you.